for selling a bomb. I did nine months in jail. And I wasn't allowed to smoke pot. I'm a convicted felon and now if I move, if I change my address, I have to file, I have to notify the local police department that there is a drug felon living in their neighborhood. Fifty years I've been breaking the law. Now we're very, we're this close to getting it totally legal, but right now it is legal. Right here is legal. It's legal. And there's a lot of people we can thank for that. A lot of people that, that kept up the faith, like myself. People when people ask me why why do you smoke pot? And I tell them the truth. I tell them the truth. It's to get high. I do have a medical condition. It's called acute boredom. I said that on the Bill O'Reilly show, and, and he, he thought I was serious, you know. But there's a lot of people, they, they demonize what we do, and, and they don't realize what harm they're doing to themselves. Because every time, when people say to me, you know, like, I don't smoke pot because it makes me go with, it makes me paranoid. Well, the only reason you're paranoid is because you fuckers made it illegal. I've never been paranoid when I smoke pot. I, I can never remember to be paranoid to smoke pot. And that's why, the, that's why there's so many of us in jail now. Because we don't believe that we're doing anything wrong. And when we go to jail for smoking pot, it's weird. It's... So, what I've done, the way I've managed to survive 50 years without having any problems is that I made sure that I was healthy enough to smoke pot. I wouldn't smoke cigarettes. I, I drink very little alcohol. I take care of myself because I wanted to prove to everybody and myself that it is a medicine. It is healthy for you. It does make you feel good. It helps you with cancer. It helps you with MS. It's a positive drug, and more important than anything, it puts you close to God, because God is a stoner. Yes. God is not only a stoner, but he has a sense of humor. <laughs>